Hello, my name is James Fitzgerald. I'm the director of the Health Systems and Services Department of the Pan American Health Organization. Welcome to this course on Human Resources for Universal Health. We hope this course will benefit you by providing information and knowledge on the many initiatives that PAHO is actively engaged in within the framework of its strategy for universal access to health and universal health coverage, referred to as Universal Health. In October 2014, PAHO and its member states adopted resolution CD 53-5, the strategy for universal access to health and universal health coverage. Following its approval, the region of the Americas has made a tremendous effort to transform health systems based on the four strategic lines of this strategy. Universal health means that everyone has access, without discrimination, to comprehensive, quality health services when needed, without incurring financial hardship. And to achieve this ambitious goal, it means removing the barriers that persist within our health systems. These barriers are geographic, economic, sociocultural, and organizational in nature, amongst others. And while we work to ensure access to health, we must also ensure effective coverage, meaning that the health system has adequate capacity to respond to the needs of the population at all levels of care, with the available infrastructure, human resources, health technologies, including medicines, and financing. Universal access to health and universal health coverage are the foundation of an equitable health system. The fundamentals of universal health are of primordial importance, therefore to improve the health of the individual, of the family and the community, based on the principles of the right to the highest sustainable standard in health, equity and solidarity. And as firmly noted in the Global Primary Health Conference and celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Almaty Declaration in Kazakhstan 2018, primary health care constitutes a central premise to achieve universal health. Both the Universal Health Strategy and the Primary Health Care Strategy strongly emphasize the need for human resources for health. In fact, global, regional and national agendas in health and development in recent decades have focused on the need to have adequate, available and qualified human resources for health to meet the health needs of the population. The Strategy for Human Resources for Universal Access to Health and Universal Health Coverage approved and adopted in 2017 by PAHO governing bodies, noted that the region can only achieve the goal of universal health by 2030 if we address the shortages, the distribution, the quality and the adequacy of our health workforce in the region as a matter of urgency. The region is not alone. The availability, accessibility, relevance and competences of human resources for health globally have been identified as key factors to achieve universal health and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. By definition, human resources for health include all personnel who work in the area of health who provide health services, either direct or indirect, to the population. For this reason, human resources for health is defined as all people who are engaged in the tasks with the main purpose of promoting health. So given this, to address future needs in human resources for health, it is of critical importance that we recognize the complexity of processes involved in providing comprehensive health services, the diversity of professions and occupations that need to work in coordination to deliver health services, the continuum of health from directly providing services to addressing the determinants of health to engaging in intersectoral actions that influence health. In this age of information, it is critical that we begin to understand better the opportunity that the technology presents for us in ensuring access to quality health services. We must continually seek innovative approaches in technology, science and social policy that will permit us to optimize the use of our health workforce in responding to the health needs of the population. The strategy of human resources for universal health is a coherent framework that will support the development of national policies, plans and strategies to address current and future needs of health systems. The strategy has three lines of action. To strengthen governance, leadership in human resources for health, including in intersectoral action. To advance in the distribution and composition of healthcare teams, particularly at the first level of care, but also within integrated health networks with planning as a central focal point. And to focus on capacity building as a critical element in developing health specialties, professions and new professional profiles that will address changing epidemiological needs.
This self-taught course serves as a central tool to disseminate information on the strategy for human resources for universal health and to inform its use. It is our hope that through this course you can use what you have learned to analyse the situation of the health workforce in your own country, to review national strategies and to propose innovative solutions based on the strategic lines of the strategy. We hope that this course motivates you to continue learning about the critical role of human resources for health within health systems and encourages you to research further into the topic as part of your own professional development in this area. Thank you.